Hi, welcome. This is Subendu. In this video, we are going to build this minimum random code machine. So let's take a look at HTML structure. So first, create the container, container div, uh, like this container div. Then inside that, I have created that he this heading, uh, minimum random random code machine. So uh, inside this div, so this will be the the row uh, machine wrap means whole wrapper of uh, the this code machine. Uh, so this is the outermost wrapper. So inside that, there is the this well bootstrap class which will create this structure, this gray background. Okay. So while wrap, I have put put this uh, in order to apply some custom styles. So inside this div, there uh, there is the code body ID uh, where this body will go, and second is author body where this author will be injected from JavaScript. So this this is this. Yeah, uh, button is this tweet button, and this one is this next code. Okay, if we hit next, then it will go and fetch the next code like so. Okay, so this is all about HTML structure. I've used a uh, Bootstrap. Okay, so let's take a look at quick look at CSS. Okay, I've just given margin uh, like so. Okay. This outermost wrapper, I've given 60 pixel margin. This well wrap, okay. Uh, given I have padding 50 pixels, so that this will be the 50 pixel outermost. So padding all over the div. So uh, inside code body, I have make the text bold, font size 20, and capitalize all capital letter. Capital, sorry, this first letter capital. So author body, 100 pixel margin left. Uh, so the margin left will be the 100 pixel uh, font size italic and this is all about CSS now the main part is uh, JavaScript so let's take a look at that so um, I've uh, used the uh, jQuery library so after the document is ready these thing will occur okay so let's take a look at step by step so we'll be storing all codes in inside array so uh, i have created the codes array and author will be also inside array okay so let's take a look at codes array these are all codes one and four okay so i have i have uh, made the array of four codes uh, and corresponding authors will be in author uh, array so ram register will be the author of first code okay this this okay so this is uh, these are two arrays where codes and author are stored and after that this is the uh, function call i have called the function called fetch code so this function will fetch the code so this is just for default code when you just uh, open the document and you will see the default code like so okay and next code so next code mean uh, is the ID of this button next code when we click this code we will ca we'll call the function call fetch code okay so when we click this this will call the fetch fetch code uh, after document is loaded uh, each time we click this next code we'll call this fetch code okay and we pass quotes and author as an argument okay quotes and author these and this is this line is just to fade in and fade out okay so if I click that it will fade in and fade out okay slow so the main part of uh, this uh, random code machine is this fetch code function so let's take a look at that so uh, we are passing two argument codes and author 
so I represent that by Q and A okay so this will be the local variable inside this function which represent quotes and author uh, so first we have uh, made the quote num okay let's make this far so quote number this will be the number of uh, quote number okay so quote number will be the math.floor function on so I, I'm, I'm making any random number okay so between 0 to 1 okay 0 to 4 sorry so quote start length will face the length of this quote which is 4 so I'm multiplying 4 by this math dot random okay this is this will generate any number between 0 to 1 so 4 times yeah almost 3 I guess yeah we'll get 3 um, from this any number between 0 to 3 which we require because uh, the number of this will be 0 1 2 3 okay so this will generate any number between 0 to 3 so after that uh, we output the code num uh, sorry quotes inside this code body div which you have seen here code body okay this code body div we are outputting that code number so this q will represent the quotes okay so uh, code number will be any number between 0 to 3 so any number between 0 to 3 means if that is 1 so 0 1 this code will get displayed here inside code body okay so on a same, same thing for author body uh, I'm displaying author body inside this author body div so okay uh, I'm displaying this code dash and I'm concatenating that with a will be the array author array okay so this author will represent it by a inside this face code function so after that uh, this this two line will display the this thing okay so after that we need to display the uh, we need to tweet this also okay so in order to tweet uh, what I did uh, is I have changed the attribute of this button or this link to this URL this whole thing is one URL okay so we are uh, assigning this link to this that tweet button uh, link okay so this is the link so this link this link will let us tweet the uh, our code to our Twitter account so what this uh, encode URI component is doing is it is encoding the text which we are uh, injecting in that URL so the text will come from the quotes and author array so that array may contain some special character so that might break our code so uh, this function is protecting us from that breaking of code in case of any special characters so it will uh, encode that character so um, what what is going on here is so take a look at this url twitter.com intent tweet so hashtag will be quotes so if you want to make any other hashtag like my code or whatever okay so that's that hashtag will be uh, populated uh, and text we are appending text text equals to which is coming from this function so what is coming from that function is uh, one quote and this will contain any quote okay um, from this quote array and we are concatenating that with by uh, the author so let's take a look at this in action so what this does so this is the code okay so if I press tweet so that will take me to the new tab and uh, take a look at this URL so text equals to life okay life is so this is encoding okay 
percentage 20 life is beautiful like this okay this is whole text that will get here inside this text so this is the hashtag course so hashtag course if if there is anything other that will change here okay so this is all what we are doing here inside this so text equals to text equals to everything going inside this function is displayed here inside this okay yeah have a, this is just concatenation of this variable inside this course uh, this is fully stop course closing course by author name okay so this is uh, this URL lets us do this thing okay this is by Twitter I'm not doing anything here just Twitter is making this thing if we post the get request to this URL Twitter will generate this thing this is all about that so that's all for now this is how we make uh, the Twitter uh, code generator if you like this video please feel free to subscribe uh, and I will see you in the next video bye